Uh, welcome, this is just a, a quick demonstration of uh, the first prototype of a joystick uh, emulation using the touchscreen on uh, iFrodo, the 64 emulator port to the iPhone. Uh, so I will just kick off the emulator and uh, basically what, what's going to happen is uh, the touchscreen itself will become, when you're when the keyboard is not present, which I'm actually building sort of a, a uh, my own version of it, not using the built-in one because it's not configurable or it can't be repurposed for uh, for anything other than what Apple's sort of built for you. So I need to obviously add things like you know, F keys and so on to emulate that, and it just seems like a better solution if I just provide my own version of it because I also need to capture the key inputs immediately and feed them straight into the emulator so that instead of providing a UI text field or a text field here that pops up the inbuilt keyboard and you, know, you actually have to type in you know, keys uh, and then send that those keystrokes to the computer that's not no, it's not the ideal solution so this is just temporary just to get me going um, so this area, area here really ultimately probably will be the entire screen you'll be able to emulate the joystick in I'll probably provide a few different modes but initially I wanted to prototype a a touch version where you didn't have to actually touch a specific area to emulate the keypad so or d-pad like in uh, the NES emulator you've actually got the two buttons there and a d-pad switch um, which means because there's no tactile feedback from what I've heard you know it's it takes a little getting used to um, and so I thought I'd try uh, this approach where by, when you start a touch so imagine if I were to tap my finger here and then drag my finger up that would emulate pushing the joystick forward if I pull it down as you can see, it's actually starting to send uh, uh, joystick messages to the emulator, which is resulting in characters appearing on the screen. Uh, if I go and start the touch again and go to the right, you can see I get the two there, which is the same as what would happen on the original 64 hardware if I move the joystick right. If I tap and move to the right, I get that. Uh, I get a, a left movement. You can also tap diagonally, so it'll do a diagonal movement. Uh, and I can actually hold it down and that's really the center of the tap so I can actually move around in a circle and as you'll see here it's actually sending messages to the keyboard so the other is the actual tap for a fire button at the moment I've just designated a square over here which would be suitable probably for uh, uh, this the portrait mode of the iPhone so if I click that you'll actually see it sending um, uh, button click messages to the emulator uh, so that's really sort of the first thing I really um, probably an easy way to show this in action is to bring up the uh, game so I'm going to I'm going to load up uh, impossible mission uh, because I can only the mouse is obviously uh, the cursor is only going to emulate one tap at a time I can't move and say click the fire button at the same time and um, that'll have to wait till I can actually get it onto a physical device and try it out I will be supporting uh, landscape mode as well and I'm not sure how the, the layout of the screen will look yet uh, but probably that you'll be able to touch it really anywhere and start the joystick movements. So we'll see how that goes once I get on a real device. So I'm going to load up uh, Impossible Mission. Um, and I've got this, when I enter the pipe symbol here, if you've probably noticed that in maybe a couple of the other videos, it allows me to send special keys to the emulator. So or control the emulator. So RS, pipe RS is actually run stop. Uh, pipe R, R is run stop restore. So that's some of the traditional keys on the old Commodore 64. Another one is PTS, which is uh, uh, which is the speed of the emulator. So it toggles the speed. So if I pipe TS, it's actually now going to run in full speed. You see the cursor is actually blinking significantly faster now, which is running at full speed. Uh, and then if I type in run, no pipe though, just because it's a regular command. It's going to get things up going much faster. Here, that's like clicking the mouse button. So, I click again. I'll go back to regular speed now. TS, toggle TS back again. And we will say high school mode or trainer. I'll go into trainer mode so we don't have to deal with getting hit by the, the robots or the orb and so on. Unlimited time, yes. Unlimited, yes, why not. Uh, never more long searching, yes. No 
collision with robots, of course. And CQ key, why not? Return. And all low die scores. Another visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. This is currently using the uh, cycle, the single cycle mode of Frodo. So I'm not sure how that's going to run on the iPhone, if that's actually going to work. Um, I've seen some. Uh, there's a com pocket Commodore for the pocket PCs and it seems to be running pretty well. I'm not sure whether they're using a cycle exactly now, but it says it emulates most of the effects. Uh, Impossible Mission didn't work unless I actually use this full mode because it actually does some old things like jumps to IO space, uh, which is only supported in this cycle mode, so a single cycle emulator. So we'll see how that goes. But now, as we'll see, I can actually click the button here the fire button on the joystick which will toggle back and forth and if I anywhere in here if I hold the button down to start a tap and push up we'll see the mouse moves uh, the hand moves up as if I'm moving the joystick up and down because I'm actually keeping my finger down while I'm doing this I'm not releasing the touch so I can go like that and I can you'll actually see as I go around in circles I'm actually dragging it around so we'll go back out of here and just show a bit of movement the other thing I can do too which I hope will work well in this environment is you can kind of just tap and release to just sort of do little nudges as you can see here so it'll help with getting accurate moves uh, and then I can click the off and now I can uh, when you tap and release so if I up, when you tap it tap down and release it's, it actually recenters the joystick too so it's quickly and easily I can so I tap release that's just resetting so I can quickly tap to just make little subtle movements or I can hold it down and I can back and forth, diagonal and so on. So here I'm going to put this off down, go up, 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 push up to the line of search.